What's up guys, it's Robert and you're watching Gent Style. In today's video, I'm gonna go over the four dress shoes every guy needs in his wardrobe. Let's get into it. The reason I'm making this video today is because I have avoided talking about dress shoes on this channel for a long time, I feel. I always feature them in the outfits that I show you guys, but I've never done a video specifically on dress shoes and I'm gonna start doing more videos on them. So this is the first one of many. And once again, I'll give a disclaimer. Everything in this video is of course my personal preference, but it is what I recommend to gentlemen who are looking to just start dressing up a little bit more or how already have a full wardrobe. So hope you enjoy the selections that I've made in this video. So the first shoe that I'm gonna talk about in this video, mine here that I have is a little bit more bold and that's because I have a very unique taste in shoes, but it's gonna be a Oxford. I think an Oxford is a great shoe to have in your wardrobe uh, when you're starting out. This one is, again, it's got like an alligator thing going or crocodile, whatever the material this is, but I definitely recommend an Oxford as one of your first dress shoes. I would go with a black cap toe Oxford and that has like a cap toe at the tip. This is a uh, cap toe right here. So again, you know, a nice little detail, but we'll talk about that shoe next. An Oxford shoe is gonna be the dress shoe that you see most guys wearing. When most people go buy a pair of dress shoes, this is what they think of. You could get a black one, you could get a dark brown one. I don't suggest a light one for your first pair, but they're a great looking shoe in my opinion. A little bit more basic, but they get the job done. Now, the next shoe is my, one of my personal favorites when I'm starting to dress a little bit more dressy. Uh, I think these are great medium between that dressy shoe and that casual shoe, and that is a double monk. These ones are from the Gent Style Collection. I love them, but you can get these anywhere practically. I personally think a monk strap is the best dress shoe because you can wear it casually, you can dress it up. It's just a really good, versatile shoe, and uh, these are really popular right now, and they've been in for the last, I'd say, 10 years or so. Back when they first came out, people thought they were just a fad, but uh, honestly, they're here to stay. The next shoe that I'm gonna talk about is another favorite of mine, and that is some sort of loafer. I think a loafer, this one is a black pair. Uh, I'm not sure what the brand is. I love a loafer because it's a super versatile piece as well. It's gonna be a little bit more casual, in my opinion, and good for the summertime. So depending on your personal style and preference, I think a loafer is a great shoe to have. I think every guy should have at least one in their wardrobe. Uh, if I'm being honest with you, most of my shoes are going to be a loafer of some sort, like these ones are from Ralph Lauren. Uh, I love these. They have a nice polish at the tip. Great shoe. Mine are always going to be either a brown or a black. Uh, you can also get different colors. I have a suede pair of loafers. Uh, they're just a really versatile shoe and I think they look very good. Another favorite type of loafer of mine is a Belgian loafer. This is something you're not gonna see too often, but I think it's just a sleeker version of what a regular loafer looks like and I think it's just more elegant. And then lastly, if you wanna have a little bit more fun, um, these literally have dust on them. So they're not something that I wear too often, but this is a, um, a wing tip and it's got like a broguing. So you could kind of see up close, there's some broguing along the sign, the design of this shoe. I think it looks decent, but this is just a little bit too much for me. Some guys, they'll get this where the tip is brown and then it's white on the inside and it's like a golfing shoe. I think that looks pretty cool, but again, not my personal taste, but if it's something that you're into, you should get one. And before I make my next point, I wanna make a correction. I believe these are derbies. Uh, I think the derby has like the loop there and then the Oxford is just straight, something like that. I get them mixed up, I think they're very similar. But yeah, I just wanna clarify that. Another shoe that I think would look really good on any man's feet in any guy's wardrobe is going to be a hole cut. Now, I don't know if a hole cut is Oxford or a Derby, but I think there's something really sleek about a hole cut. In my opinion, they just have a really good look to them. It's very clean, minimal, sleek. You put a nice mirror shine on the tip of that bad boy and it's gonna look really good. And that's another suggestion that I have. Whatever dress shoe you get, make sure it's of quality leather so that you can uh, apply a nice mirror shine finish to the tip of it. A dress shoe just looks better when it's polished. So I definitely recommend investing in quality shoes. There's plenty of great brands. We have made to order shoes here at the Gent Style Collection that are made in Spain by hand. 
really great shoe. There's also plenty of other great brands of dress shoes. You have Allen Edmonds, you have Polo, Ralph Lauren, they also make a decent dress shoe, Goodyear Weld, all that kind of stuff. That's another thing. When you get dress shoes, make sure they have either a Blake Stitch or a Goodyear Weld. I love Magnani's Blake, uh, Blake Stitch. I think it looks really good. They do a great job of that. And I love the cut of their shoes. So there's a lot of things that I could talk about, honestly, when it comes to dress shoes. But I just wanted to go and show you guys today a few options that I definitely recommend that every guy has in their wardrobe. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And with that said, I'm Robert, this is Gent Style, and I will see you in the next video.